All right, hello everyone and welcome. Now today I'm going to show you how to play the chords of Save Yourself by Chainsmokers and Nightmare. All right, people are absolutely raging about the song. All right, for the simple reason that um, Chainsmokers went back to their roots. All right, we have amazing strong bass lines. All right, and we have synthesizers that will slap you in your face. All right, they call it Assault assaultive synthesizers it's it sounds different yet interesting but new fans of chain smokers won't like it all right it's for it's a kind of a throwback to the old days of chain smokers all right so normally when i do these kinds of videos all right <laughs> i play the whole thing through but i i don't think i'm going to do it this time because the chords are so easy all right it's so simple it's so repetitive everyone can learn these chords all right so we don't even have four chords all right <laughs> we only have three unique chords all right that's it and in the verse there's no inversions whatsoever all right it's root chords it's straightforward so let's get to it um this is what the chords sound like so we have e minor d major and c major all right so those are the chords thank you for it no i'm just kidding <laughs> all right but really guys there's no inversions all right so when the verse starts we have normal e minor e g b all right normal e minor down only one note down to d major d f sharp a all right down to only one note down to c major all right and that's it it's really simple and then in the last bar, before we go back to E minor, we uh, go stepwise back, alright? So, back to D major, and then we go back to E minor. Alright? So, the chord progression is 1, 7, 6. Alright? 1, 7, 6, 7, 1. 1, 7, 6, 7, 1. And 1 is minor, since we are in a minor key, and 7 is as usual a major six is also a major and then back to seven and back to one all right so really straightforward and how i'm counting is one two three four one two three four one two three four and then we hold it one two three four one two three all right so it's really simple and we repeat those chords four times and that concludes the verse all right and then we go on to the build now i reckon the you can play the exact same chords in the build right so that's e minor d major c major d major e minor all right? or if you are afraid that the, the chords will get too stale right then you can start to introduce inversions, all right? So inversions will give us that just that different sound that we want uh, to avoid the chords getting stale, but it will still sound 100% correct, and that's because it is. So yeah, let me show you what I rec recommend if you want to use inversions. So uh, remember we played E minor in the verse now. In the build, I recommend you play 1-6, alright? So that's E minor first inversion, which is over here. So first inversion is when you take the bass chord, you take the first note since first inversion, and you put it at the top, alright? Like that. And then you have your E minor first inversion. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And you still go down stepwise. How cool is that? Even though we are in different inversions and whatnot. So... E minor first inversion down to D major first inversion all right it's still stepwise going down so D major first inversion and then we go up to C major second inversion which is over here all right and it sounds really really good all right I recommend the sound of this over the sound of our verse but for simplicity sake We'll use that in the verse. So this is what the build sounds like. So one, two, three, four. 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 Back to E minor. I recommend using fingers one, three, and five. Not like I was 
<laughs> I was going to use finger one and two, but don't do that. So one, two, three, four, D major, one, two, three, four, and then C major, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. All right, I really like this sound. It's really kind of you know resolutive and. I just, I personally like this sound more than the um, bass chords or root chords, whatever you want to call them. But if you recommend that sound, then by all means, you can um, introduce new chords on the third repetition or second repetition. You can use different inversions that I used. It's, it's really up to your own creativity, all right? I'm just here to tell you. <laughs> my insignificant opinion all right so those are the chords so don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed i'm very glad to see chain smokers went back to their roots and yeah that's always nice to see so yeah awesome take care